Um, Bob Dole sang of Clinton's veto, of which he disapproved. He said, oh, this was an easy call. I mean, you know, how dare this guy veto this piece of legislation. There's something very wrong in, in, in our discussion of this. I, if there's anything that late-term abortion is, it is not an easy call. And I just want to say, I, it perhaps, I, I almost get the impression that somebody thinks that maybe women don't have no moral sense at all. Oh, no, that's no not woman who is seven months pregnant oh, no. ever waddled past an abortion that, clinic and said, says. You darn, I knew there was something I've been meaning to get around no, to. That, that, that's not what it says. This Mom. is ridiculous. You have those late-term abortions. That, that's not what this says. Because either the mother is going to die, the child is going to die, or both are going to die. That's not what the doctors These say. procedures are, are incredibly rare. I only know of two in the state of Texas that have been done since Roe v. Wade passed. They were both what they call cases of babies with no brain. The, brain, the child's brain stem had developed. But then something went horribly wrong, and these children literally had no brains. Now, is that an easy call? Is that simple to you? I, I really am, it, well, let me try and calm down. It's not going to do any good for me to get excited. Um, if the choice, these are women who want their babies. They want the babies terribly. What would you what, do? What I was talking to the women in the using? audience. If a doctor said to you, either your baby has to die, or you will die, or your health will be wrecked for the rest of your life, and you'll never be able to have another child. I don't know what you do. I think you probably want a second opinion. But if I were you, I sure as hell wouldn't ask Bob Dole's, because I don't think that's an easy call. I, I, would, I would suggest, I would suggest you ought to read this.